All right, fourth graders, we're winding down. So you gotta keep hanging in there with the homework, okay? Because we're we are almost through the year, but I just need everybody to keep working until we get there, okay? Today we are doing page 413, 414, and 415. And some of it we will be doing together, and then some of it you will just be doing on your own after I show you a couple on each page, okay? So today we are going to be adding angle measures. We're going to be looking at angles and putting two together to get the measure of the whole angle. So it says two angles can be put together to form another angle. The measure of the whole angle is the sum of the measures of the smaller angles. The measure of the whole angle is 105. So what they're talking about is this example right here, okay? So they had two angles, one was 75 degrees and one was 30 degrees. If I put those together, I add 75 plus 30 like they did here and that equals 105 degrees. So that's what you're gonna be doing down below is putting two angles together and adding them up. So I think it's gonna be a pretty good day for you guys here. All right, and then just to review, up at the top here, I have, I want you just to remember what a 90 degree angle looks like, okay? Sometimes it has this little square right here. They don't always do that on, on these pictures below, but you know what a 90 degree angle looks like. Also, a straight angle is like 90 plus 90, so that's 180 degrees for a straight angle. And you guys know, you maybe heard, if I do a 360 circle, I'm going all the way around to do a 360. I think you've probably heard that before, okay? All right, let's look at number one. We're gonna answer two questions. We're gonna, we're gonna answer what kind of angle is formed when, and then what is the measurement? So two things on the line, okay? Well, I can already look at both these angles together and then I have to decide, my two choices are, is it a right angle or a straight angle, okay? So these are the two choices that you're gonna choose from for the words. Well, I can look and I can see that it has that perfect corner, doesn't it? And that it's a right angle. So I'm right away, I'm gonna write right, okay? It's a right angle. You don't have to write angle, just put right. Now, I want to know the sum of the two angles together. So I want you to use your white space. I can see I have 45 and 45. I need to show my work. Okay, I'm going to add those two up. 5 plus 5 is 10. 4 plus 4 plus 1, 9. And then remember our little degrees. So the sum of the two angles together is 90 degrees. So we do two things on the line, okay? Name the angle that they made when they put them together and then the sum of the two angles. All right, I'm gonna go, because I think you can do number two on your own. I'm gonna go down and do number three with you. And then that way you'll have a little bit of each kind with me, okay? So right away I'm deciding, is that a right angle when I put them together or is that a straight angle? Well, I can see that I have this right here showing me that it's 180 degrees, so I know that it's going to be a straight angle, okay? And then I'm going to add up my two angles, 90 plus 90. Maybe you can do mental math, but it would still be great to show your work, okay? Zero plus zero, nine plus nine. We know that a straight angle is 180 degrees, okay? Don't make your circle so big like I did, otherwise it looks like another zero. So I want you to do number two and four by yourself, okay? <clears throat> then on number five, it's the same thing, but they're not giving you a picture. It says an angle is made from two angles which measure 80 degrees and 70 degrees. So I need to put those together to find out the measure of the whole angle, okay? So I'm gonna take my 80 degrees plus my 70 degrees to figure out the total. Always remember that you're gonna have your little degrees there, okay? 
you can handle that one. And when you are done, meet me on page 414. All right, another page with some fun angles on it. This time, we are going to be using the angles shown, all of these that are at the top up here, and we are going to, to make other angles with them, okay? Let's look at number six, because it's easier if we just start right in, because then you'll understand it a little bit better than those directions. All right, number six says, which two angles, so I need to pick two from up above, would you put together to make 75? So you need to look up there and see which two numbers, when I add them together, make 75, okay? Well, I already see a 95, that's too big. 140's too big. I've got, ooh, I like 35 and 40, okay? So if I took this angle right here, and this angle, 35 plus 40, I can double check it over on the side here. Does 35 plus 40, yes it does, it equals our magic number of 75. So I need to say which two angles I added to make that. So do you remember how we name angles? So look at this first one right here. Okay, I just call him angle A, B, C. And then I added this angle right here, and we can call him angle, I'm gonna put a little and in the middle, angle D, E, F. So you're just gonna name the two angles that added up to that magic number, okay? I can see that my magic number right here is 145, okay? So you need to figure out which two are gonna get to that magic number, okay? I think this is gonna be pretty easy for you guys, okay? And then number eight says, which two angles could you put together to make a straight angle? Ooh, who remembers on the other page how many degrees are in a straight angle? Did you say 180 degrees? So that means your magic number. It's the same thing we did on number one and two, but we need the angles to add up to 180, okay? Then number nine says, which two angles would you put together to make a right angle? How many degrees are in a right angle? 90 degrees, so that's gonna be your magic number. You need to find two that add up to 90 and put their names down. I think this last one is kind of cool. We're not gonna do this one, but the last one on this page says, if you put all five angles together, what would be the measure of the whole angle? And you're gonna be surprised when you get that number, okay? So you're gonna be adding up all of your angles from up above. Okay, so I'm going to do 140 plus 95, column addition here, plus 50, plus 40, plus 35. And I'm going to add them up and see what I get. Okay, you're going to add all of them up and it says what kind of figure would you form. Okay, you figure that out. I think that's going to be good for you guys. And then meet me on our last page. We just have a little bit to do on that. All right, last page for today, okay? And we are only going to do number 12, 13, and 14, okay? I'm gonna say that number 15 is extra credit if you would like, okay? This one's gonna be extra credit and we are not doing the bottom section, okay? All right, here we go. This time we're gonna be subtracting angle measures because we have an unknown angle. You're gonna see that we have a question mark on each one. So we need to figure out what that angle is. Okay, let's look at the first one. It says the measure of RST, so of the whole thing. If I measure the whole thing, I'm just gonna highlight that. You can see that I highlighted in yellow the whole thing, RST, is 120 degrees. 
So we know RST is 120 degrees, and we know that one angle is 75 degrees. So we need to take our total 120 and subtract the angle that we know. Okay, so 120, and that will give us our mystery angle, which is right here. 120 minus 75. Okay, zero take away five, I can't do that. Cross out my two, borrow. 10 take away five is five. Then I borrow again to make an 11 minus seven is 45. So I now know that my mystery angle is 45 degrees. Okay, this little angle right here is 45 degrees. So I needed to take the measurement of the two together, subtract the one that I know, and that gives me my other angle. Okay, let's look at our next one. The measure of the whole thing is 130. And I can see that one of the angles is 40. So in order to get this angle, I'm going to take my total, 130, subtract the angle that I know. And you could be putting the little degrees thing here. It might get confusing, okay? You definitely want to put it in your answer. And so I want you to subtract that to get this number, and then you're going to put it on the line, okay? I want you to do number 14 by yourself, okay? You got it. You can see your total there. And then number 15 is extra credit. So have an awesome day, guys.